Hey there, geography fans. Have you ever noticed that many continents seem to have peninsulas pointing downward? Today, we're going to explore why that is. Let's dive into the fascinating world of plate tectonics, erosion, and the historical changes that shape our planet. First up, let's talk about plate tectonics. The Earth's surface is made up of giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, drifting apart, colliding, and reshaping the continents. When tectonic plates collide, they can create mountains and peninsulas. For example, the Indian subcontinent collided with the Eurasian plate, forming the Himalayas and the southward pointing Indian Peninsula. And when plates move apart, they can form rift valleys and, you guessed it, more peninsulas. The Great Rift Valley in Africa is a perfect example of this process in action. Next, we have erosion and deposition. Large rivers like the Mississippi in North America often flow toward the edges of continents, carrying tons of sediments with them. Over time, these sediments can build up and form peninsulas, like the Mississippi River Delta. Coastal erosion is another key player. The relentless action of waves and currents shapes the coastlines, carving out peninsulas over thousands of years. Look at the Italian peninsula, home to the country of Italy. Its iconic boot shape is the result of continuous erosion and deposition by the surrounding seas. Historical and environmental factors also play a role. During ice ages, glaciers can carve out the land, creating peninsulas as they advance and retreat. The Scandinavian peninsula where Norway and Sweden are located, was heavily shaped by glacial activity during the last ice age. Rising and falling sea levels can submerge parts of continents, leaving higher land masses as peninsulas. For instance, Florida in the United States is a peninsula that has been shaped by fluctuating sea levels over millions of years. Let's look at some examples. South America tapers into the narrow, southern pointing tail of Patagonia. This region is known for its stunning glaciers and rugged landscapes, shaped by both tectonic activity and glacial erosion. Africa narrows into the southern point of the Cape of Good Hope. This area is a biodiversity hotspot and a crucial point for maritime navigation. India extends downward into a well-known peninsula, home to diverse cultures, climates, and ecosystems. Asia features several southward pointing peninsulas, like the Malay Peninsula, which is known for its tropical rainforests and vibrant cities. So the shapes of continents and their peninsulas are the results of a complex interplay of geological processes from plate tectonics and erosion to historical environmental changes. These processes work over millions of years to create the diverse and interesting landforms we see today. Let's take a closer look at the Scandinavian Peninsula. This massive peninsula is home to Norway and Sweden, and it stretches over 1,850 miles from the Arctic Circle in the north to the Baltic Sea in the south. Its dramatic and rugged terrain were carved by glaciers during the last ice age. Today, it's known for its stunning natural beauty and rich Viking history. Humans have also played a role in shaping peninsulas. Coastal cities and infrastructure can affect erosion patterns and sediment deposition. For example, Land reclamation projects in places like the Netherlands have dramatically changed the coastline, creating new peninsulas and extending existing ones. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating geography facts. Let us know in the comments which peninsula you'd like to learn more about. See you next time! Stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world we live in.